I'm here in my classroom, but it was looking iffy. They are waxing the top floor of the school right now. Luckily, they're on the second half where my classroom isn't. So I was able to get in here and bring up all the school supplies. This is the current state of thing. Desks are in rows, so I have to put those into tables. And I have to completely redo the board over there because I am supposedly going to have four preps, but I don't know because my schedule is still not uploaded. This bulletin board right here, I'm very upset about. That's my absent work board. I left up four folders that I got from purchasing something and they were beautiful bright colors and they're gone. The absent sign is gone. The things that I made and laminated for up there, it was like growth mindset stuff, that's gone. So I have to completely redo that. I have to try to find these folders again, which I might end up having to buy like big packs of folders and just deal with it, which I kind of wanted to do anyway. So I guess it's not that bad. The other major dilemma is I get here, I realize that I did not bring the keys for all the cabinets that I have in my classroom. And that was like my top priority was actually unpacking the cabinets. So I have to do something else in the meantime. And my husband, my wonderful, darling, amazing, sweet, perfect husband is bringing me my keys, which means I also get to see baby for like a second. So I guess I'm gonna get started by taking down all the signs that I put up on the furniture to make sure that they were returned to the correct classroom. And I'm going to arrange desks because there's not much else I can really do right now. It's almost 12.30 now. I think I'm gonna get ready to go. Although, as I'm doing this, I keep looking and seeing things that I could fix or change, and I kinda of wanna to stay to do that, so. <sighs> we'll see what gets done. Yeah, that was kind of a mistake. I saw the ceiling tile that my students painted for me in June, and it was sitting against the window, and I was like, I should put that up in the ceiling while I'm dressed like this. I forgot that I'm wearing contacts. So as I'm putting the ceiling tile in, this dust and debris starts falling out and now my eyes are itchy. So I don't think I'm gonna last here too much longer. So I'm just gonna do a quick look at the progress that I've made. So I forgot to do the before shot of this table, but these three black crates here were all full of school supplies that I purchased over the summer. So those are semi set up and put away. And then there were four boxes of school supplies that I ordered and I can't put these ones away. The compasses, the containers for them are with my colleague. And then these markers I did not order. I ordered the uh, skinny expo markers for student use and I don't know where those are. Those are missing. I'm also missing colored pencils and scissors so I hope those turn up. My big progress was that I took everything out of my cabinets that I put away but now a lot of it is just sitting on the counter. So that is going to be worked on throughout the week. And I have my desk set up. I set up my student desks and I hung up their table team numbers. I also wanted to number my desks today. I cut out two sets of numbers using my Cricut, brought the wrong set, so I have to do that tomorrow. These are the big things right here. I have to set up this bookshelf with all the bins and things and then I just set up this board for the school year. But teachers come back tomorrow for professional development days. I still do not know what my schedule is, how many students I have in the classes. I was assigned to teach Algebra 2 for this year, but until I see it in school tool, I'm not going to believe it. So I need them to get that together, just so I know what to do. Please guidance, get on this. One of my projects that I want to tackle for this back to school season is organizing my task cards and any other activity that involved laminating pieces to reuse. Right now I have them stored in two different places. I wanna store them in these things. Right now it's 12.30 and I don't know if I wanna go home and have lunch or try and do that. I'm very much on the fence. I also wanna be with my husband and wanna be with my baby because starting tomorrow I don't have the choice. So I decided to just take a look at how involved that whole project of moving my task cards and et cetera around would be and I found this. So what happened was, this was something that I was toying with the idea of whether or not to take down or leave up and apparently I decided to take it down and completely forgot. So the folders that I'm in love with are here and safe, but I've already ordered a new pack of folders on Amazon, so. So here's one way that I was organizing things. Top drawer of the filing cabinet. So I have my units in folders and then I threw all the stuff for the units in each folder. But like here's unit one. 
this is all in here this is insane so these are each going to get their own folders i got all the activities from the filing cabinet out and into the bin so phase one is complete it's almost one o'clock i was hungry before but now i'm not which means i'm gonna be super hungry later I think I'm gonna go. It's almost one o'clock. I just ran out of water, so that's probably a sign that I should go. What I really wanted to do was tape the floors. I have my desks arranged in tables. They are exactly where I want them. I want to put duct tape around them so that kids know like their table needs to be within that box before they leave. These are one of those things that I just have these ideas and then I go to implement them and they start to chicken out. I don't want to anger the custodians by taping up the newly waxed floor, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the only teacher in the school that tapes the floors. So I think I'm gonna do that later because I'm just, I wanna get out of here at this point. I have stuff to do at home still, so. It's just hard because I'm here in a tank top and athletic leggings and I will not be dressed this comfortably and here again unless I come in on Friday. So the urge to get these things done while I'm dressed like this and it's easy for me is substantial. But, but if I have to do it in jeans, I'll do it in jeans. So that's it and I'll be back tomorrow. So it's Tuesday, it's about a quarter after nine. This morning has been just insane. I got here around the time that I would normally get here and I wanted to get here early, not for any particular reason, that's just how it happened. And so now I'm here and I was planning to try and get a bunch of things done in my classroom before we had to start our meetings and I got my evaluation from last year and was looking through that. Then um, my co-teacher came in to talk to me, found out how I could get my schedule in school tools. So it's been there for I don't know how long, but it's not where it normally is. You had to look for it. So it turns out for this year, I have not the four that I was anticipating, but five different preps. And they threw at me math AIS because SAT math preps enrollment is low. So I had enough for one section that meets every other day. I don't have two sections like I normally would. So to give me a full teaching load, they had to add that in. It's a small group and I think I might actually be looking forward to it, but initially I was shocked, frustrated, and I haven't taught seventh graders since I was student taught 10 years ago. So that's gonna be very new for me. I feel like I'm gonna have to try and do different classroom management with them. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. I also think I need to have Chromebooks for them and I don't have any. So I'm gonna have to get in touch with our tech person, but she's gonna be insanely busy. So I'm going to feel horrible doing that to her, but I'll just send her a little email till it's not an emergency. I just need to figure it, get it figured out and everything's gonna be okay. And what I, started telling myself once I started freaking out about it was elementary teachers always have five preps. So it's not a big deal. So yeah, this year's gonna be interesting. We have meetings all day today and then like little breaks in between. So in between, I'd like to get into my classroom and try to do something and um, so far I've been unsuccessful because I stopped to talk to my colleague because one of my colleagues said, I don't think they can give you five preps and I was also thinking, well, I think they do to the special ed teachers, which they do. And as a result, I only have one duty period per week, which will probably be either lunch duty or hall duty. The only way this could be a problem though is how they put my classes on day ones, because we have an alternating day schedule. I have SAT prep and math AIS, so I'd only have if I had a duty on a day one, it ends up being that I only get one period of relief aside from my lunch. So I don't know how I feel about that. It's probably gonna be hall duty because I'm only gonna be available during one lunch period, I think. We'll see what happens. So that's what's going on. And just trying to reassure myself, I'll get everything done. Everything's gonna be fine. Can't think of anything else that I wanted to update on right now. So I'm just gonna go. It's quarter after three. It's 87 degrees in here. I'm getting ready to go. I'm amazed with myself because I've been up since 3.30 this morning and I had meetings all day and that's all we did. And I stayed awake the entire time. I have this magical ability that I can fall asleep anywhere ever since I was 15. I went to Leadership Academy and it was part of the JROTC program and they scheduled every moment of the day and we had night watches and I was just exhausted. 
I had to stand in formation while we were waiting for something and I fell asleep standing up and ever since, doesn't matter where I am, if I'm tired enough, I will sleep. But I made it, I stayed awake all day, I got very, very few things done. My major task to get done today was numbering the desks, so that is complete. And I've completed phase two of the task card project, which was taking the task cards out of the random boxes that I had them in and putting them in the crates. And I labeled my, can't even think what they're called right now. And I labeled my trays. So to label my desks for the past few years, I've printed out numbers on cardstock, laminated it, cut them out. I had them in circles, so I wasn't cutting out the individual numbers and taped them onto my desk with packing tape. I decided to try something different this year. Initially, I was going to just write on each desk with an oil-based Sharpie marker pen, but I decided not to because I have a Cricut and I made Cricut numbers on vinyl for a different project, which I'll show in a second, but I decided why not just give it a try and put vinyl numbers on the desks. And basically they're like giant stickers I think the kids will be able to peel them off, but I'm hoping that if I explain to them like this was really expensive, it'll stay on. I could coat them with Mod Podge or some other kind of sealant, but I think the custodians would not be happy. But I was also thinking about doing that with the paint pens too, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, the paint pens have become my backup idea. So here's an example of what the numbers look like on my desks. I have a blue number a purple number, a green number, and then an orange number at each table. So the numbers are good. I number the seats. I don't assign numbers to my students because I'll have them move from different seats. It just makes it really easy. So when I have students have assigned seats for the first time, I'm gonna put up a list of all the numbers for the desks. And then next to each number, I put the student's name so they look at the number, they look for their name, they'll find the number that they go to. Whatever number their desk is, that's the number calculator that they take. And then I added something new this year. I put up a shoe organizer for cell phones. So this is where students will put their cell phones and it's numbered so it corresponds with their calculator number, desk number, etc. And this was all done with a Cricut. So I'm loving the shoe organizer. And at the moment, it's for when they're testing. So when they test, they'll have to put their phones in the pocket. In the past, what I've had them do is put their phone on the table in the back of the room with a post-it note with their name on it because that's what we do for Regents exams. The problem is not every student turns in their phone and then not every student puts on the post-it note. So I'm hoping that having the pocket system makes it easier so one, I can see who did not turn their phone in and two, if they leave their phones behind, I know who it belongs to so I can return it. So I've gotten past the initial shock of having a fifth prep thrown at me and now I found the silver lining. The way my schedule is, is on day ones, I have SAT prep and the seventh grade AIS on the same day. So on day twos, the two periods that I have those classes are free. I'm going to have a duty in there somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm excited because that means on the day twos, I have the full afternoon without having classes. So I'll be able to get more planning done, I feel, because I'll be able to have this long stretch of time and that's when I'm most productive. I get frustrated sometimes with my prep period because once I finally get into the groove and start getting something done, I have students again. So I think I'm officially sweating to death in here. I'm going to go, plus I wanna see my son because I miss him so much. So that's it for today and I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Good morning, it's Wednesday, it's just after eight. I wanted to get here early today and didn't. I went to Walmart instead. I got buzzers that I ordered on Amazon yesterday and they need batteries. So I went to Walmart to get batteries and I needed painter's tape and can't even put the batteries in because I don't have a screwdriver with me. So that's not gonna happen today. Um, that's just kind of how my life's been going lately. Or at least that's how I feel like my life's been going lately. So I have about half an hour until I have to be at a training and it's for writing. Basically, we have to have writing assignments in every class. I actually really hope they don't make us do it for AIS. That'd be obnoxiously redundant. Anyway, we have to have writing 
assignments given they want them to be part of like our regular routine which honestly in geometry i think it makes a lot of sense and it's really great i'm going to be a little bit more challenged to do that with algebra 2 but i'm actually looking forward to it i think it will improve my students learning what they want us to do though is actually collect the writing samples and score them and then turn them into admin and it's usually been three per year then we have lunch for an hour and then this afternoon we have or i chose to go to differentiation for ells using technologies so, so that should be good or at least i hope it's good i was going to put the batteries in those things but that's not going to happen right now i'm going to take them back home and work on that there so I'm gonna work on my task cards and my next step is to just make the tabs for everything and rather than write them all out, I want to print them out on colored cardstock so I can differentiate between what's for the different courses. It's now just starting to hit me that I'm gonna have to relabel a lot of things, which I was actually expecting, but I don't know, for some reason right now it's just stressing me out. So yesterday I got through everything that was happening here fine. It was at home yesterday, things got really rough so all day yesterday, people kept asking me if it was hard for me to leave my son. And initially, I didn't feel that it was. I mean, it was hard to actually leave the house because he wasn't awake yet. So I had to like kiss him goodbye while he was sleeping. But I left knowing that I was going to get home and I was going to be able to see him then. When I got home, he had just fallen asleep for his nap. And he actually, that was his good nap of the day. So he slept all afternoon and into the evening. I even woke him up just to feed him and he went right back to sleep. So I felt like I didn't really get to see him yesterday. So I was bummed about that, but again, I know I'm gonna see him today. And since he napped at that point in time yesterday, he's probably gonna nap differently today. I don't know. You know, he's not on a schedule yet, so it's always different every day. What's really bringing me down is my cat that's just like my baby like i have two cats but i have different relationships with them but the one that's really cuddly and snuggly and very sweet very loving he's not doing well he's been losing weight steadily throughout the year and when i took him to the vet in the winter it was kind of like well you know he's getting older things change but when i took him to the vet this summer she was like okay there's something wrong here and we did blood work we had to give him iv fluids based on his blood work and you know, we checked the blood work again and his kidneys are not functioning properly and his health is just declining and we don't know how old he really is because we adopted him as an adult, but I just feel very, very helpless. I don't know what I can do for him. He went, he's now gone 24 hours without eating anything. So as soon as I can, I need to try to call the vet, which is gonna be hard because I have meetings all day. But basically like last night into this morning, I spent like a good amount of time crying. So between worrying about him overnight and my son was sleeping, but very restlessly. So we're listening very closely to make sure he's not choking or nothing's happening. I didn't sleep well last night on top of not sleeping the night before. So I feel okay right now. Actually, I really need to eat breakfast. But other than that, I feel okay. I just, I know it's gonna hit me like a ton of bricks. Actually, that's what happened yesterday when I got home. I had a headache. I didn't. I don't think I ate enough yesterday, and then I had to sleep, and I took a nap while my son was napping. I feel like I just rambled a lot, but in short, there's a lot going on at home and here, and it's just a lot at once, and I just have to remember to breathe, know I'm gonna get through it, and take care of myself as best as I can. Sleep is kind of like to be expected. I'm not gonna get sleep right now, but I need to eat more, so vlogging actually took longer than anticipated i'm gonna put the camera down do something so i feel a little bit better more productive eat breakfast and get to that meeting good morning it's thursday it's like a quarter after six i'm still home things have been crazy i'm still adjusting to this whole teacher mom thing and it's just hard on me because normally i'd be able to come home and do all the work that i wanted to do but that's just not the case anymore. And I thought that after having a kid, I would be less of a workaholic because I was when I was pregnant. And that's not the case either. So I'm going to figure out a balance and everything. And it's just right now it's really hectic because it's back to school. And once it's not back to school anymore and I get into a rhythm and a routine, it won't be such a big deal. But right now I'm just feeling very overwhelmed for that reason. He's at the vet right now. He had to stay overnight to get IV fluids, but it's just hitting me and my husband that this is probably 
um, getting close to the end for him and it's just hard for us and it's hard to basically go about your super busy semi-normal routine while you know that's going on at home so little boy's in front of me right now he woke up about a quarter after four i fed him he's usually pretty good about going right back down this morning he wasn't he had a super messy diaper and he spit up a lot more than normal for you know first thing in the morning and he didn't go back to sleep so my husband had to take care of him my alarm went off and everything and i'm still trying to get him to go back to sleep and we just had to accept the fact that I had to start getting ready and my husband was going to have to get up early to take care of him. Normally he would go back to sleep and sleep till like 7 and we'd be able to get ready without an issue. At least that's what's been happening the past two-ish weeks. So right now he's taking a little nap but he's restless and he's making lots of noise. He might be up soon. So I know it's very common for people to get songs stuck in their head, but does anyone else ever get movie dialogue stuck in their head? For me, it's usually The Lion King, but right now it's from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, the scene where Hermione says, we need to make a plan, and Harry says, when have our plans ever actually worked? It's like, we plan, we get there, all hell breaks loose. That's how I felt about the past couple of days. For example, this morning I was planning to get up, get dressed, get out the door so I have as much time to get stuff done in my classroom as humanly possible today. And because baby Russell would not go back to sleep this morning, I now have to watch him while my husband showers and gets ready and gets dressed. If he'd been able to sleep, my husband would have gotten in the shower before I was finished getting ready and I would have been able to leave a little bit sooner. But honestly, I'm kind of glad I was able to snuggle him a little bit more and interact with him while he was awake before leaving for work. So yesterday I had limited amount of time in my classroom, but I had that time planned out and what ended up happening was I ended up talking to a colleague for a while in the morning and not about personal stuff, actually about teaching stuff. Then when I finally got back to my classroom and was about to start getting stuff done, another teacher came up and said, hey, we're having a PBIS meeting right now, we need you to come downstairs. And if I checked my email, I would have known, but I didn't even have the chance to log into my computer. I actually did not get to log into my computer at all yesterday. That's how crazy it was. So I had the meeting the whole time that I thought I was going to be getting something done in my classroom. Then I had a workshop, left the workshop, went right back into the meeting, had, I think, 40 minutes for lunch and to do something, and then had another workshop. That workshop finished, and... Oh. It was time to go home basically. I got just very, very little something done. I don't even remember what, but I did one quick thing and then I had to be at the door because I had to get my cat to the vet. So it's just been crazy and I was hoping for today to be the day that I get as much done as humanly possible. But now I think I'm going to have to accept the fact that I'll probably have to go into school tomorrow, which is a day that we're not scheduled to be there, but the building's open so we can come in and work. Today they're going to kick us out at five o'clock. So I have from whenever I get there until five to get work done and I'm gonna try to use as much of that time as possible. I also have two hour and a half trainings today. So hopefully they don't take the full hour and a half and I mean, it's a lot less than what we've had for all the other days, so I'm hoping that I can get stuff done today. We'll see what happens. I did not do a vlog update yesterday. Things got beyond hectic. It's now Friday. It's just after 7. I'm here. I don't think there's any other teachers in the building right now, at least as far as I can tell. I think it's just the custodial staff. Um, basically, Tuesday and Wednesday this week, they said the school was open until 4, and after that we had to leave so that the custodians could clean. And then yesterday we were allowed to stay till five and I left right at five o'clock. And today the building's open until 11 p.m. And I just wanna make sure I get as much done as possible because we're here again on Tuesday for professional development and all day pretty much we have meetings. And when we don't have meetings, we have a staff barbecue that we're expected to attend. So, I mean, to be honest, I'm really tempted to come back to my room and get stuff done. But my goal is basically to be as close to done as I can be because Tuesday I'm not going to get a lot of time in my classroom. So yesterday was good because we had a total of three hours worth of meetings but the time that I wasn't in meetings and I was trying to get stuff done in here I still had to go work on PBIS because there was a presentation that we had to do yesterday and I 
touched base with two other teachers about AIS. Um, I have to give grades and I don't know what to grade on. I guess I'm gonna do quizzes or something. And then I was talking with the seventh grade math teacher about the seventh grade curriculum a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous because she told me that she plans the day before. And I plan out like a full week in advance. So that's gonna be challenging for me, but it's a class I have every other day. I'll be fine no matter what. It's just, it's going to be an adjustment period. Yesterday I kept getting frustrated. I kind of explained how I was feeling that morning and throughout the day it was like the hits just keep on coming and I don't remember every little thing that happened but the one big thing was I wanted to get my assignment board laid out and I used painter's tape and this is what the painter's tape looks like. Like there's green text all over it so I can't or I don't want to have that up on my board that way. So I had to bring my painter's tape from home that was blank. And next time I go to redo my board, I'm gonna have to purchase like colored masking tape. I actually was looking for it in Walmart and didn't find it. They only have the plain like off white color, which is not gonna look good on a white board. It's not going to clearly delineate things. My students won't be able to see the difference. So I'm gonna kind of just go through real quick what I was able to accomplish yesterday. The one thing that I'm not going to show right now is I'm nearly finished with my task card crates. I just have to finish putting the, um, what are these called? These things into the file tab so I can see what they are. But basically I printed them out because they have long names. So I have that. I try to put it in the little plastic piece and they fell right down. So I have to like tape them onto the inserts that came with the folders so it's a whole process and the inserts that I have to tape those ones on to I left at home so that's gonna be a Tuesday project and that's okay because it's really not a priority so this is my behind the desk teacher corner and this I have to clean up because there's just stuff everywhere one thing that I made sure to get done yesterday was updating these labels so I had to do one for algebra 2 and one for AIS now the AIS used to be my miscellaneous drawer and I had these in there. Now I have to find somewhere else to put them. I think the bulk of everything else that I got done we can kind of see right here. I just had to redo all these labels basically. Um, I had to do the B period and E period bin for my classes with interactive notebooks. I redid the table team bin signs because a lot of them were cut or folded or someone poked a hole in it. Silly stuff like that. And then the last thing from over here was these bins right here. This is where my handouts go so my students know to take them. I just had to label them with the different courses. And I did take the stickers off of my calculators. The back of them have numbers. I took them all off, I have to put new ones on. So that's also a project for next week. It doesn't even need to be done before the students get here. Then the last and probably most important thing is this whiteboard. I took everything down. I had to peel a lot of tape. I cleaned the board as best as I could. And then I went through and started to pre-measure where everything goes. So I used the masking tape that I did have and just kind of said, we need to put a line of tape there. So I have that planned out and now I just need to put it into action. So it's almost a two whole hours later and this is all I have done so far. The difficult part of putting this together is trying to curb my perfectionism. The lines are not straight and that's okay. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. The biggest issue right now is that there's words that should go along this side that are completely missing. So these are the missing words. I actually forgot to bring their measurements home, so I guessed at the measurements and I made them too long. So right here I'm going to put the word standards and then I have page protectors taped down. So these are where the standards posters are going to go. I have objectives here. I actually am thinking about um, also adding vinyl decals for the words student will all the way across. So I don't have to write it down every day. And let's see, announcements go here and this is for missing assessments. So this section right here for the date and the interactive notebook titles and pages, I think is going to be a big help because right now it's over this way. So I have to walk all the way over here and put it up where it is next to my smart board every day and it's really annoying. So now the only issue that I foresee is that when I push this bookshelf up against the wall again, the calculators stand up tall and they might cover up where it says missing assessments. So I think I have to move my bookshelf against the wall that way more, which I'll have to live with. So it's now 10.30. I just finished putting up a bulletin board in the hallway and it came out way messier looking than I wanted it to. Like I purposely turned the papers so that they weren't all straight so that 
it wouldn't bother me that they didn't all come out straight to begin with and there's it just covers like the whole board almost and it looks a little bit crazy but that's okay the past four days it's been in the high 80s low 90s and today right now it's like in the 60s and it's gonna get into the low 70s so it's beautiful outside but it's still insanely hot in here it's like 80 something degrees right now in my classroom and I have almost everything done that I wanted to do I just have to work on taping the floors so I got this skinny little duct tape in the spray blue color and I wanted to tape the floors like how teachers do to say this is where your desk goes. I've tried it in the past, but I forget, I might have been stupid enough to use washi tape and it didn't work out at all. I think I had like a spot on the floor where like the um, front left corner of the desk should land on and it, it lasted like two days, if that. Um, so what I wanted to do was use duct tape because it would stay on a little bit longer. I know it's not going to last the whole year, but I wanted to try that and instead of having it be like, you need to get your desk on the spot, I wanted to make a box around each table so that students knew that your desks need to be contained within that square. And this is how much tape came off the roll. Being a math teacher, I feel like I should have been able to tell that I wasn't going to get much out of each roll. But then again, they like tape up so you don't see where the ring actually is in the inside. There's not a lot of tape on here. So instead, I'm going to basically make like a dotted line outline of where the desk should be. So then I'm going to do like the corner of the box and then like a little bit of tape in the middle so that students can kind of see where the desks should be contained. So I'm going to do that using the tape I put on the floor yesterday first. I'm going to peel that up and work with what I have. So it's 1240 and I'm finally done, sort of. There's still a few things that I have to do, tweaks I have to make, things I have to fix, but um, I'm really, really hoping I can get that done on Tuesday. It's a short list. But I also need to make some copies. I think I have the copies I need for the first day, but not for like the second day or the third day. So I need to get on top of that mm -hmm. and I'll probably do that first thing Tuesday morning. So what's really frustrating about this whole process was I felt like I went out of my way in May and June to make this as easy as possible of a back to school season for myself. And still it was just crazy mostly because I had the two new courses, so there were things I needed to change, labels I had to make, and I had to completely redo my assignment board, which took almost two hours and is still not done. But they also changed which periods I had classes, so I had to change even more labels, and then I just had different ideas of my own of things I wanted to do and try, so then that took up time, like taping the floors, for example, and I think I'll just do like a quick walkthrough of my classroom not a full-on tour if you wanted to see a tour i did a video last year really not that much has changed so i'm just gonna do a quick overview of my room from my desk area not much has changed on this side of my room the only thing that i really had to change was the labels on the file folders right in there so this is how I taped my desks. I put a corner and then just a little line on each side. So students kind of get the idea of where their desks should be. This cabinet is different from last year and honestly I think I'm going to end up changing it because I think I can move the cell phone holders somewhere else. So I got my apps and board back together and what I'm going to do is in this space here, I'm going to add folders for homework. I'm going to take these homework folders down and I might put the cell phone holder thing here. So those are all the changes that I could possibly make between now and then and I'm just going to wrap it up. Back to school starts next week. We have professional development Tuesday and then first day with students is Wednesday. And I'll be vlogging next week too. So that's it for this week and as always thanks for watching.